Youth runner here with Coronado Star, uh, Oliver Horton. Desert Twilight Festival, uh, Toka Six Golf Course here in Mesa, Arizona. One of six guys running sub 15, 1445. Uh, your performance, Rocco's performance, Charlie's performance, all of those were under the fastest time ever run here uh, previously, which was by the great Bertie Montoya from Cibola, Arizona, more than a decade ago. Obviously, that smile to your face, you know, uh, you know what that rarefied air means, even though you're at sea level. When I say that out loud, like how, how special is, is is that to hear that you know you're part of such significant history tonight? Yeah, it's it means a lot. I mean, we've been working so hard, and we didn't do as many early season races as last year. And I think we were kind of waiting for this race to pop a good time. And now I think this gives us so much confidence to go into another training block and just hit state hard and just be ready for NXR and NXN. Most definitely. And then obviously from uh, from a team standpoint, uh, obviously right uh, right in that conversation, I think you know. Rio Rancho showed that they're not just a good team in, in New Mexico, but uh, they're good in the Southwest. But obviously, we know that you guys are great no matter where you are. I, I just, uh, how good was it for the group just to kind of, like you said, you haven't, you know, maybe been as active, you know, early in the season, but just to know that it's like, hey, you know, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're in a good place on September 27th. We need to be in an e even better place on November 2nd yeah. and an even better place on November 23rd. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you know, just to be able to kind of, be around them and you know just kind of understand like what that competition is going to look like in addition to when we bring you know the utah teams in here as well yeah. uh but uh, how good was it for you and the group to, to kind of feel that yeah it was so good i mean i think last cross season we we, we did like we were really underwhelmed and we didn't perform like how we should have and i think now i mean having all this momentum go into it we're like hey we can mix it in with the best best teams in the best region of the nation and you know, I think we're really like, we have our eyes set on NXR and NXN and we're just ready to go and we're ready to prove to people that we're in the play and we can we can be up there with, you know, with Niwa, American Fork and Harriman. Absolutely. Obviously, you know, coming down to sea level is always a blessing, but then we have conditions here tonight that, you know, even people in Arizona aren't familiar with all the yeah. time because we're always used to a dry heat, but tonight <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit sticky, you know? Uh, but I mean, obviously everybody was dealing with the same thing. How, uh, how proud were you of the way that you know that, that you handled it and obviously the group handled it yeah i think we all kind of we handled it really well we've been hydrating all day we've been we haven't been thinking about it too much but we've been doing what we need to do like we've been having towels around us we've been we've been locked in we're like we can't worry about what we can't control so i mean everyone's in the same boat everyone's gonna hurt as much as you so you just got to push through it for each other obviously you know i i love the interaction with you and rocco afterward once upon a time that was you know that was for a family there obviously yeah. you know uh they've left that championship hopefully for you guys to, uh, to, you know, to, to seize you know, while they're taking care of their business up in, uh, up in 5A. But just how significant is it for you and, and your team uh, uh, to be part of this incredible depth in Colorado, never mind the Southwest? Yeah, I mean, it just, it's, so, it's just so nice that we were able to reap these awards of putting in all this hard work. And we were working so hard over the summer and the fall. We've been putting in all these hours, these, these miles. And I think that now it's just it's going to be so much easier and we're going to have so much more confidence awesome again 1445 uh all three guys uh up, up front with charlie voss and rocco culpepper and oliver horton uh rewriting history here tonight at toka six golf course i have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more where that came from yeah, definitely. by the time we get to november 23rd uh, uh during the daylight hours here when the conditions are hopefully even more favorable yeah. until then uh oliver stay healthy uh best luck to you and the group and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys at state thank you so much